Hey everybody, this is Too Short Tuesday with half your host for today, Taylor. I'm going to book it into my bathroom in a second, but I'm going to quickly tell you what, uh, oh, the reason I'm booking it off into the bathroom is because my mother watches our channel and she likes the lighting in there better. So, until I can find better lighting someplace else, I'm going in the bathroom. But I will quickly uh, tell you what our topic is first before I head in there. And this is our topic for today. It is by Testing My Wings. Hey loves, this past week I threw away my scale. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done, but now I'm going through like withdrawals. I was one I was weighing myself multiple times a day. Now I'm finding it hard not to have one. Any ideas of positive ways to cope with the withdrawals? Bethany. Bethany, I do have a couple of ideas. Let me quickly head off to the bathroom. Okay. First off, let me tell you I want to give you great, great kudos for being able to do that. That is a ginormous step. Big, big step. And I am just so proud of you. I, I, the whole team, we, I mean, we applaud you for being able to do that. Because that's, I mean, that's huge. Because, I mean, you know, the scale for anybody with an eating disorder is like our God. You know, we bow down to that. And um, these are, this is what I would say to you. Um, I'm sure there's several times of the day that you would get on it. And one of the times, probably, if you're like most people, would have been first thing in the morning when you first woke up. And um, my idea for when you first wake up in the morning would be that um, whatever your religion is that you do spend a little time with your God. Whether it be um, reading your Bible or reading your religious books whatever it be, um, make that your special time in the morning where you, where you, where you pray if, if, if you're a Christian or, um, you know, Jewish, whatever it may be, um, read, read, read a little bit. That will get you through that, definitely. It has helped me. Um, and that first morning one definitely is hard. And then, um, for, for other parts of the day, um, just figure out what times that you would normally weigh yourself and um, be just make sure you stay busy whether it be to call a friend um, go out for a walk um, you know make sure you stay away from stores that sell scales because uh, then you're back to square one and I would just like I said make sure that you're doing something that um, just just make sure you're busy at the times that you find it hardest the times of the day you, that you used to weigh yourself because I can speak from experience that as the days go by, the easier it will become to stay off the scale. It will. I mean, trust me, I know this from experience. Because you are stronger than I am. I still have mine. I do. I don't get on it. That's one thing I do not do. Um, I stay away from it. My home is clean, but my scale is not. That thing I, I don't know why I, I just can't throw it away but it was expensive and some part of my mind tells me don't throw that thing away it costs too much money so it stays um, in my bedroom in the corner next to the closet covering dust and with each layer of dust I feel like another layer of empowerment to myself because I'm not going near it and um, yes so I would definitely um, say that you're further along than me when it comes to the scale because you've been able to, to, to go further than me in getting rid of it. And now that you've gone that far, honey, don't go back. Do not buy another one. Um, one of the big things I found is getting online. Getting online, if you feel a withdrawal symptom coming on like, oh my god, this is the time I get on the scale, what am I going to do? Get online. Come here. Come here to where your support is call you know call someone I found that being online though wow it wiles away the time of the day you know if you have a job I mean right there you know you got six eight hours right there that, that you know you're not at home and when you come home check your email or if you are at home go for a walk pet your dog or cat uh, call someone read a book get online do whatever it is that you have to do to stay away from the obsession because I promise you, honey, as the days go by, it will get easier. 
there sometimes I'll go through, you know, maybe five to seven days, sometimes even longer, that I don't even think about it anymore. And, you know, I haven't been on my own personal scale, and I'm going to say six months. Um, the only time I've been on a scale now is when I go to the doctors and they make me. And even then I ask them if I can get on it backwards because I don't want to know. You know? Because honestly, getting on a scale is the, in my opinion, the quickest way to fall back into a possible tailspin from rec recovery. And you don't want to do that. You come too far. And, um, yeah. That would, be, that would be my suggestion, is to definitely find something to do at those times of the day that you would normally get on the scale. And coming to this site, watching, even if you're, you're going to go through um, watching the older videos that you've already watched, there's a lot of good info in them. And, you know, the, that, would, that would be what I would do. I would um, just make sure that you have a support system, lots of good books, possibly movies, um, anything that, that those times of the day that you would normally do, um, just reach out, call someone, get online, um, read a book, go for a walk, uh, anything to stay away from buying one because you have done a huge thing, a huge thing by getting rid of that scale. And I am so proud of you. I am so, so proud of you. And, um, yeah. So that's pretty much all I have to say on the topic right now. And um, I'm just, you know, wow. I just had, Karen and I had to do your topic because we just felt empowered by the fact that you're able to do that. That is, that is just huge. And, I mean, wow. We are just so, so proud of you. So um, this is uh, my half of the week, Too Short Taylor, signing out. Talk to you next week. Bye.